a trader. We put a trader on the server. We go and make sure the server is stopped, which it is. We go into our FileZilla. If you don't have know how to set up an F FTP connection, you want to go to your server. bottom of your control panel you'll have all the FTP credentials you want to take them up the top and file cellar then or whatever FTP program you're using put them in there hit connect it'll connect it to your server your server will be on right on your right your machines on your left we want to go to the workshop we're already in it That'll be in wherever your games are. I have my games stored on my E Drive, Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, Daisy, and Daisy Workshop. That's the one you're looking for. Once you find them, them files, you want to go down to the trader, find the trader. I like the three dots on the right and then right click on the trader file and upload it. Won't take long, it's a relatively small file. That's it uploaded. I'm going to go down then to our keys folder, open up our keys folder, go into the trailer folder on the left on our workshop, into the keys folder on the trailer folder, you want to highlight the three, three dots on your server, right click on the trailer key and upload it. Once you get that uploaded, you want to come down to your config folder. This is where the mix up on Nitrado is. You want to open up your config folder on your server. You want to go back into the trader folder on your machine and you want to go into server profile folder. You'd have to make a server profile folder if you had the server downloaded to your own machine. So we want to highlight the three dots on our server again inside the config folder and then go over to the trader folder right click on it and upload that's that we can back out of that now we go to the trailer folder left click on it give it a second left click again it'll highlight the name of the folder then right click on it and copy we'll back out of now we go to our control panel on nitrado we go down to general scroll down down to the mod command line paste the trader in there end it with a semicolon and save ah, you start the server nitrado's server profile folder is the is the config folder when when you go into it there's a bug on the Nitrado control panel, sometimes it'll show you the con config folder. See on, the, on this server it's showing me the config folder. If I change servers. This is my other server. Go into the file browser. See this one's bugged out, it won't show me the config folder. Oh, it does now. It won't show me the folders inside it, but... For whatever reason, just bugged out of it. That's why you have to use FileZilla. So 
Okay, we're still resetting. We go back to the config folder. We just go into it. See, there's a trader folder right there. We just let it reset. There's the server reset. Back out of that. We'll go into our launcher. We'll just unload any mods. There's our server right there. There's a trader mod. Loading now, the trader should be there. That should be us loading in. Should see the traders here. We did sign out of Green Mountain. I need to increase the core count for the server. There's a trader right there. That'd be it. She's floating. <laughs> Need a better graphics card. Should be all up and working. There we go. Traders walking straight on the Daisy server. Get around that shitty config file. It's a bit confusing. It confused me at first. I made a server profile and still didn't do anything. It's all down to the config folder. But thanks for watching, folks. I hope this helps. I'll make another couple of videos soon. I'll I'll take a couple of mods, I'll add them into the traders then so they're available to buy and sell to the traders also. Well as ever, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you all soon. Take care.